All right, so I want to run you through a quick four step process that's going to allow you to create professional looking thumbnail images over and over again, very, very quickly and very, very easily using simply Photoshop and Lightroom and a, you know, a website here or there. Okay. So step one is to come up with a main image for your thumbnail that is relevant to your topic or niche. Okay. So this could be from a stock photo website like Pexels, for example, or, you know, Pixabay, for example. And there are many others out there. If you just Google stock photo sites, the key here is you want to get a main image. If you're taking an image from the internet, right? You want to get a main image that is not, you know, a copyrighted image or one that you know the origins of, right? The safest way to do that is to simply go to a stock photo site. Like I said, examples of those are Pexels, Pixabay, and there's a number of others, okay? And this could also simply, if you want to take your own picture, it could simply be a high quality picture that you took yourself with your camera or your phone, okay? The key element here is that you wanna get a main background image for your thumbnail so that people that see it immediately, no matter what theme you're going with, will obviously know the topic almost instantaneously, okay? And you can also use a picture of yourself if you're creating you know, videos or courses around like a personal brand, for example, but I would recommend using an image with a topic. That's just my opinion, but it's a recommendation. Also, because one of the things that I'm gonna teach you in a coming lecture is to overlay a picture of yourself on the thumbnail anyway, right? So ideally, it's it's not gonna matter, okay? Now ideally with the thumbnail size and the thumbnail image, you're gonna want a 1920 by 1080 pixel ratio or as close to that as possible so that it resizes easily and looks great, okay? Now, generally speaking, like you can see when you're on one of these sites here, you can see like the up and down photos. Well, a 1080 or a 1920, excuse me, by 1080p one looks more horizontal like this, right? almost like a YouTube thumbnail. Now this one is probably not 1920 by 1080, but if we just simply free uh, download this one for free, you will see, right? So it's 1920 by 1280. It also comes a little bit other sizes, but basically I can take this because it's as close to 1920 by 1080 as possible. And then I can simply resize it using step two.